and to present before the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to bring Jesus my coffee because of the powerful presentation to the Lord by the worshippers. At this juncture, blessed people, allow me to welcome Pastor Esther that she may also come and dispense and read a scripture in the mighty name of Jesus. Karibu sana. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. If you are happy just clap to the Lord. Kama uko na furaha mpigie tu Bwana Yesu makofi. Amen because so many people were longing to appear before the Lord today. Amen kwa sababu watu wengi sana walitamani kujitokeza mbele za Bwana leo. But they were not able to be here. Bali hawakuwezeshwa kuwa hapa. But for us. Bali kwetu sisi. The Lord has allowed us to appear before him. We are not that much worthy. But it is because of his grace. So I just want to read one scripture. In the morning we had a powerful Bible study about the importance of the faith. I want to read the book of Psalms 37. Verse 7 to 9. The Bible said, Be still before the Lord. Psalms 37. 7 to 9. Be still before the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways. When they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It lead only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Praise the Lord, blessed people. In the morning we had that faith is the, is the mother of hope. In this book of Psalms, in verse 9, for those who are evil will be destroyed. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Meaning, if you hope hope in the Lord. If you wait patiently in the Lord, you will inherit the kingdom of God. May the Lord bless you. My name is Pastor Esther. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wapi makofi ya mchungaji. Makofi ya mchungaji. Very powerful scripture. Andiko le nyinguvu mno. Praise the Lord. I know Pastor Quinta is preparing Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, as she has just read that, be still and wait patiently for the Lord. I don't know what you took home. But what caught my attention is not just wait, but waiting patiently. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Let me give you an example. Labda unatafuta kazi. Biblia inasema wait upon the Lord and wait patient, not just wait. Wait patiently. You don't wait grumbling. Yes, yet mimi sina kazi. Ah mimi sina kazi. Mtu ukikusalimia eh that is not being patient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You wait patiently upon the Lord. Maybe, for example, you have applied for a job. 
ulitafuta kazi and you are waiting upon the lord to open the door na unamgojea bwana kufungulia lango the bible says you should be still bila tukamba inafaa uvumilie utulie and you wait na ungoje patiently kwa kuvumilia so three things hayo ni maneno matatu lakini sasa wewe umeapply kazi lakini wewe sasa umetafuta kazi haleluya haleluya and then alafu maybe hujapata jibu na hujapata jibu alafu sasa unaanza ku complain alafu sasa unaanza kunungunika mtu akikwambia nimelala njaa nisaidie 20 bob ni kule ugali kwa kibanda mtu akikwambia nimelala njaa nisaidie ni chini unajua hata mimi sina kazi unajua hata mimi sina kazi that is grumbling hiyo ni kunungunika it is not waiting patiently hiyo si kungoja kwa kuvumilia haleluya haleluya so patience kwa hivyo uvumilivu goes with stillness and waiting inaenda na kutulia na kungoja upon the lord mbele za bwana bwana yesu asifiwe sana bwana Kuita. Karibu sana katika jina la Yesu. Wapi makofi kwa Yesu? Katika jina la Yesu. Wapi makofi kwa Yesu? Karibu sana mchungaji. Karibu sana mchungaji. And as she comes. Na ajabu. The worshipers prepare because you're going to give us another special number. Ah, uh, kikundi cha ibada mjanae kwa sababu mtapata wimbo mwingine specially. Just come, just come pastor. Kuja tu mchungaji. Once she's done, the worshipers will proceed to give us a special number. Karibu sana mchungaji. Karibu makofi sana kwa mchungaji. Yesu. Makofi kwa Yesu. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, blessed people. Bwana Yesu asifiwe watu wabarikiwa. I bless the Lord so much this morning. Ninambariki bwana sana asubuhi ya leo. I bless the Lord for this opportunity. Na pia nambariki bwana kwa tunuko huu. By the grace of God and Pastor Quinta. Kwa neema za bwana mimi ni mchungaji Quinta. And I want to read a verse here in the book of Isaiah chapter Isaiah 63 verse 7 Ningependa kusoma andiko kitabu cha Isaya mlango wake 63 mstari wa 7 We know that our God is a good God Na tunajua kwamba Mungu wetu ni Mungu mwema Mungu mzuri He is mighty Ni Mungu mkuu He is righteous Mungu mwenye haki He is merciful Mungu mwenye rehema And his goodness endures forever Na uwema wake unadumu milele and we have every reason to worship him na tuko na sababu kila sababu ya kumwabudu yeye for who he is kwa sababu kwa yeye aliye and what he has done unto us na kwa kile ambacho ametu ametenda miongoni mwetu ametutendea the, the book of isaiah isaiah 63 mtasoma kitabu cha isaiah mlango wake 63 verse 7 the bible says mstari wa 7 biblia inasema i will tell of the kindness of the lord I will tell of the kindness of the Lord. Nitasumulia juu ya wema wa Bwana. The deeds for which he is to be praised. Kwa matendo ambayo anapaswa kusifiwa. According to all the Lord has done to us. Sama sawa sawa na yote ambayo Bwana ametenda kwa ajili yetu. Yes. Naam. The many God the many good things Mambo mengi mema he has done for Israel Aliyotenda kwa ajili ya nyumba ya Israeli According to his passion and many kindness Sawa sawa na huruma zake na wema wake mwingi Hallelujah Hallelujah The Lord is good Bwana ni mwema And we have seen here Na tumeona hapa that we have a reason to praise him kwamba tuko na sababu ya kumwabudu yeye his deeds for which he has done unto us matendo yake ambayo ametenda kwa ajili yetu we all know that what the lord has done unto us tunajua kwamba kile ambacho bwana ametenda kwa ajili yetu i know everyone kila kuna kitu ambacho bwana amekutendea bwana asifiwe kila mtu kila mtu kana kitu ambacho bwana amekutendea sio tu uponyaji sio tu uponyaji kuna wale ambao wajagonjeka na kuna jambo kubwa sana ambayo bwana ametendea bwana Yesu asifiwe sio kwamba tu bwana akikuponya amekutendea makubwa kwa watu hai asubuhi ya leo ni, ni jambo kubwa sana ambapo unastahili una kumtukuza bwana bwana Yesu asifiwe kuwa tu unapumzi au hai asubuhi ya leo hata kuwa tu umebarikiwa na nyumba yako hiyo ni jambo kubwa sana ambayo bwana ametendea bwana Yesu asifiwe so we have a reason to praise the lord for what he has done unto us i know everyone the lord has done something unto you praise the lord and we have a reason to praise him and to worship him because he only he deserves all the worship all the praise all glory and all honor bwana yesu asifiwe the lord bless you so much kwa sababu ni anastahili sifa zote na heshima yote bwana wabariki haleluya haleluya tupigie bwana yesu makofi even as the worshipers come to take the stage hata waabudu wanapochukua jukwaa let us clap to jesus wapendwa tupigie bwana yesu